Now, it affects thousands of children in the UK and millions worldwide. Peanut allergy is the biggest cause of severe allergic reaction and has blighted the lives of many sufferers. Now, researchers believe they may have cracked the problem by giving tiny amounts of peanuts under strict medical supervision. The trial, carried out in Cambridge, involved 99 children. After six months, 80 to 90 percent of them were able to eat five peanuts a day. Our health correspondent, Sophie Hutchinson, has more details. Right, Lizzie, time to have your peanuts. Elizabeth Tooley used to have a potentially life-threatening allergic reaction to peanuts. The day after her fifth birthday, she was rushed to hospital with severe swelling after eating peanut butter. But since taking part in a trial, she can eat peanuts safely and now has to eat them every day. She prefers them chocolate-coated. I'm happy that I'm able to eat the peanuts and that there's a trial to stop to help me not, will not be allergic anymore. It's life-transforming. Uh, the, the worry that it's removed from our lives. The researchers whose findings have been published in The Lancet say this type of treatment known as desensitisation has never been successfully used to overcome a food allergy until now. This peanut study carried out in Cambridge is the largest and most successful of its kind in the world. Scientists here are describing it as a breakthrough and say that for the first time ever, a treatment for peanut allergy is now a possibility. Some experts are calling for more research to assess long-term risks, but the report's authors say the results speak for themselves. We do mainly clinical research, research based on patients, and to be able to see something that you might be able to take into real-life treatment and uh, hugely benefit patient care is, is for us really you know, the pinnacle. Last one. It's hoped the technique used to help Elizabeth will now be tested on other allergies such as eggs, wheat and milk. The study she took part in was tightly monitored and should not be attempted without supervision. But the doctors who treated her hope it will eventually become available to others on the NHS. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News.